Hi everyone and welcome to a video about options for attaching things to the end of your winch rope. We've got five different bits of kit here, each with different strengths and weaknesses. So we've got the Factor 55 flat link, a standard soft shackle, a four and three quarter ton screw pin bow shackle, a heavy duty G70 hook and a smaller G70 hook here as well. So let's take a closer look at what each one of these actually are. So the flat link is designed to just permanently go on the front of your winch cable um, and you can't actually attach anything directly because it's a closed loop so you're going to need a uh, soft shackle or a bow shackle or something to go through um, this hole here. The soft shackle everyone knows and loves these, it works pretty straightforwardly. That sort of goes over the top there, pull it over, put the um, knobbly bit towards the end, uh, not for strength, but so it doesn't come, less likely to come undone. And the bow shackle, I've got another video on these. Everyone's pretty familiar with how the bow shackles work. This heavy duty um, hook here, that's got a quick release mechanism. You pull that, opens up, put whatever you want in there and pull it closed. Now the more you pull it, the tighter it goes. And not only that, that's a positive latch, so that doesn't then come undone. And this is kind of the standard hook you get on um, most winches. Uh, just literally a hook with a spring-loaded mechanism there as a safety latch. Okay, so whatever you put on the end of your winch rope has to be strong enough for the job. Now, if you've got a 9,500 pound winch, that in metric terms is about four and a half tons, and you want to work on a factor of at least double. So whatever you put on the end should be around about um, eight, nine tons or thereabouts. And if you've got a 12,000 pound winch, then uh, that's about five and a half tons, so you're looking about 10, 11 tons. So let's take a look and see what options we've got here in terms of strength. Now, the uh, classic bow shackle here, that's four and three quarter ton rated, but then that's a six X fa safety factor, as I said in my other video. Um, so that's about 28 and a half tons before that's going to break. Um, so if you break one of these, I've never known anyone to break one in four wheel drive recovery, then you're either going to be in hospital or in orbit, one of the two. So that's plenty strong enough. The Factor 55 um, flat link, that's got an eight ton rating on it, but that is actually its kind of operating limit. Factor 55 tell me it will break more like 19 or 20 tons, so again, yeah, that, that's more than strong enough um, uh, for recreational winching. Then we've got the soft shackle here, and that's got 14 and a half tons in it, but that's the breaking load, so that's not a working load, therefore we probably want a, about half that, so this is probably good for about seven tons. Now I do have another soft shackle here from um, Factor 55, and uh, that says on it um, that its breaking ton is actually 17, sorry, breaking limit is actually 17.6 tons, and I only recommend you go down to three and a half tons. So um, whilst the working load limit is lower on this, this doesn't actually have a working working load limit, um, the overall braking strength is stronger. Either way, I think both of them would, would, be, would be fine uh, for, for winch recovery. Then we've got the two, um, the two hooks here, and neither of them have a rating on them. What they do have is three eighths of an inch, and I've got another one over here, very similar design to it, which actually has um, G70 on it. Now, G70 is a standard, and a G70 standard um, at three eighths of an inch gives us a working load of about 2400, but a safety factor of, I think of about four. So these would be strong enough, but it would be really nice if um, they actually had the proper load limit marked on them, so then you can make an informed decision, um, as indeed most of these other bits of kit have. Okay, the next criteria is what you can actually fit in them. Now, if you're going to, you're obviously going to attach a winch line to something using one of these, and that will be a number of, I guess, other options. Obviously, you could maybe attach it to a um, soft shackle, um, a end of a winch extension strap, um, a winch extension rope like this. Um, probably the, the biggest thing is going to be the two ends of a tree trunk protector like that. So let's see how each one of those gets on. So with the flat link you've got to put 
something through here, then you attach it to that, because obviously it's a closed link loop, that's not going to work. Um, so we could put a soft shackle through or bow shackle through, um, that works pretty well. Um, let's take a look at how the soft shackle works basically like that so that's that's actually really nice there's a really good radius here um, for that and um, obviously keeps the line central as well so very easy on the soft shackle the, the flat link which is great now as far as um, connecting up the uh, shackles are concerned that fits in there like so nicely again centralized pull so it will take a four and three quarter ton shackle without any problem at all um, let's take a look at some larger ones. So here's a um, six and a quarter ton. Again, that fits without any problem there either. So we can just maybe go a little bit smaller than that. And here's a 3.2. 3.2 is still fine for recovery because you've got that six times uh, load limit. Now that doesn't actually fit as you can see. You can put it round that way and then it will fit but um, that, that, that's, that's not ideal uh, so yeah fairly versatile a bit of kit will take a variety of shackles which is good but probably wouldn't take the, the smaller ones but I think with, with these sort of three sizes you're pretty much covered shackle wise okay then um, the uh, bow shackle that will definitely you know easily take um, the, the soft shackle it will take the end of the strap here um, that's the tough one is obviously going to be the double tree trunk protector and that does in fact go around there like so so tick on the bow shackle and then the winch hook Oops, that will also do the job so again that's got plenty of capacity which is great now the smaller hook here this does actually take both of them but it is a bit of a squeeze and then this safety shackle starts to abrade the end of it so it doesn't really have enough capacity in my view um, to be able to put two ends of a tree trunk protector into this and then that means you've got to use a shackle you're using up a shackle in there um, and it's just something else in the winch line something else to rig and go slack it's just not ideal so this doesn't this area here is not big enough for recreation easy recreational winching you want a, a bigger sort of catchment area here like in this hook or the bow shackle or, or the soft shackle all right now we'll look at what other purposes you can put these bits of kit to so with a soft shackle it's a soft shackle you can do all sorts of things with it it doesn't have to go on the end of your winch you could remove it let's say that your car is not involved in the recovery or it is involved in recovery you need a shackle somewhere else you could just take this off and do something else with it same is also true of the bow shackle easy to remove and use for something else now these three here they're all designed to go permanently on the end of your winch rope so um, to fix this and you've got circlips you don't really want to be taking circlips out it's very to do um, in, in the field or you could take it somewhere else if you needed to um, with this one you pull the pin or push the pin out there again can be done but you wouldn't really want to do it so these three are really designed to go permanently on the end of your winch rope whereas those two can be removed and you can do something else with them or we'll swap them out Right, next criteria I'm wearing gloves for and that is usability so imagine it's wet it's windy it's late at night and you're struggling to uh, do a recovery somewhere in the depths of some godforsaken forest um, how easy is it to work with these things so with the soft shackle yeah pretty easy to do it's um, no small fiddly parts which is great bow shackle again um, easy to do with gloves um, the flat link well something's going to have to go with this that's kind of one of those two so same sort of thing with the um, big hook here that's easy to operate works quite well and the only fiddly one again is this, this this latch here in my experience it tends this one's actually already a bit bent it tends to get bent and worse and that spring tends to fail so it's just a bit more fiddly not not really all, all that usable in the bush and then we come to speed of operation now i don't think this is a big problem for recreational users because you know you just a few seconds really don't make any difference if you're on a winch competition then and you're trying to win a stage then absolutely three or four seconds can make a difference so you know um 
if we had to put, let's say, the ends of the two tree trunk protectors through this, we could um, easily slot it through, connect it up. Now, it's not going to take a huge amount of time, um, which, is, which is great. And um, bow shackle, again, doesn't take too long. Factor 55, you need one of those two. This um, is probably the quickest because you can just quickly open that up, um, grab those two, or even just maybe even one of them, um, and then just slam it closed. So from a speed perspective, this is the way to go. And this is why, you know, if I was in a winch competition, I'd actually want one of these because then you can just quickly do that and then um, off you go. But for recreational users, I really don't think speed of, of operation is that much of a factor. So the heaviest item is the big hook, which weighs around 860 grams, pretty heavy. Then the 4.75 ton bow shackle, which weighs around um, 600 grams. Then the Factor 55 flat link, that's around 450 grams. Um, the little hook here cost, um, weighs around maybe 350 grams, um, but the real feather weight is the soft shackle around about 80 grams, and obviously it is the softest. So if you're gonna have anything flying through the air, probably not going to do much damage to you whereas any one of these metal objects would so safety wise and weight wise absolute win to the soft shackle if you have on the end of your winch rope you're going to need to store it when it's not in use in the case of a hook normally you would attach the hook to a recovery point but that exposes part of the rope to the elements and potential damage in the case of the Factor 55 flat link, then you can tuck that nicely up against your rollers or your hawse and it has a rubberized part of the link to, to help, um, help that. In the case of a metal bow shackle, you can also tuck it right up against your hawse or your uh, rollers. But in the case of the shaft shackle, again, that would expose it to potential weather damage. So what you can do is just remove the soft shackle and then put a small bit of dowel or wood and tuck it up against your hawse or rollers. So now we come to pricing. I've arranged them in order of pricing. So uh, here is the flat link, about 260 Australian dollars. Big hook like that maybe cost you 80, 90 dollars. Soft shackle maybe 50 dollars or thereabouts. And uh, these two set you back about 25. So value for money wise, these two are sort of um, pretty good. Um, and buy those um, extra if you, if you need to. So I've compared a few different options in this video. There's the Factor 55 rope guard, which is kind of like my bit of wood, but looks a bit better. There's this really good looking uh, winch hook from Smitty Belt. There's a lot of space inside that, so that looks great. The Factor 55 ultra hook, three different sizes of premium hook from Warn, and then there's also the Warn Epic Sidewinder as well. I haven't compared and contrasted each one of these. You should be able to look at them and get an idea of how they perform from what I have um, said in this video. All right, so to summarise then, we've got our five options here, um, and there's no best out of them, but there certainly is a worst, and this is the worst. Um, Strength-wise, um, yeah, it might be G70, hard, hard to know really. You can't put much inside there to hook so it will come open. This latch is poorly designed. Um, it's single purpose, it's cheap, and frankly, I think the best thing you can do if you've got one of these on the end of your winch is to remove it and throw it in the bin. I only keep this around for videos and training and so on. So that leaves us with these three now. Um, if you really need the quick speed of being able to just put something inside and then just slam it closed and go on as you would in a, in a um, competition situation, then a hook's the way to go. But for recreational users, I wouldn't bother with a hook. It's, it's big, it's heavy, it's single purpose, um, and again, um, on this particular one, I'm sure about the, the strength rating, so I'd put that aside. So for the recreational users, I would uh, choose out of out of these three. Now, um, the soft shackle and uh, um, the advantage of these two is that they're multi-purpose. You can put them in different places, um, which is which is great. Um, and they're also relatively cheap, particularly the, the bow shackle as well. Bow shackle is a bit heavier than that. And then um, um, the flat link, um, what I like about this, I mean, apart from the fact it looks good, it's got these rubber marks here. It's more than strong enough for a load and it keeps things um, nicely in line as well. But you do need to add something onto it so that it can be used on a winch. So um, basically, I would choose from those for your recreational winching.
Anyway, I hope you found this video um, of use. Please subscribe to my channel and find more content on cars, towing, full drives, and whatever else I think that might be interesting to readers.